Hey Thunderbirds, do you know what time it is? It's color wheel time. Today we're going to be studying the color wheel. The color wheel is the colors of the rainbow, the basic colors formed into a circle that helps us remember and understand how colors interact with each other, how they mix to make other colors, and we can learn a whole lot about color theory and art through the color wheel. So today we're going to be making a project that I call watercolor wheel. If you have some kind of paints like temper paints or watercolors, you're welcome to use those. If uh, this is that, that's for the Clear Connections kids. Um, if you do not have those, then we will be using uh, Crayola markers. And I'm going to show you how you can use water to spread that ink and it gives it a watercolor look. So all the brick and mortar kids, we're going to be using markers and water at home. If you have paints, you're welcome to use paints. If not, uh, you can use markers like we are also. Um, if you're at home and you don't have a paintbrush, feel free to just get uh, a Q-tip. That will work fine for what we're going to be doing today. The uh, primary colors, which uh, you have should have learned from me in previous years, is yellow, red, and blue. Yellow, red, and blue. These three colors make up all the colors of the rainbow. And if you mix these up, for instance, if you mix blue and red, you get that's right, purple. And if you mix yellow and uh, blue, you get green. And then of course, red and yellow make orange. So we're gonna be making those colors using the markers today. Whether you're using markers or paints, I want you to only use the primary colors because this is a color mixing project. All right, now check this out. Um, you're going to need some kind of a cup or a uh, some kind of a circle template, and you're going to draw six circles in a circle pattern. So you'll in a circle pattern, you're going to have one, two, three, four, five, six circles like this. All right, so I've got my six circles in a circular pattern. I've gone ahead and traced those uh, with a black Sharpie. You don't have to do the tracing. I just think it will look well, look nice. You know what I mean. All right, let's get to coloring. So I've got my primary colors. And if you remember from previous years talking about this, the primary colors do not touch. They cannot sit by each other. They will get in trouble. They're too good of friends. So you gotta separate these guys so they don't get in trouble. So. First off, I'm going to color red on this one, and we're going to do something a little bit different this year. We're, uh, this year with uh, this project, I'm not going to color it all in because I want to use the ink to kind of fill in the middle. I think that's going to look really neat. I think it'll give it a darker on the edges, lighter in the middle look. So I'm going to color red, and then I got to skip this one, put yellow over here. I'm getting in trouble. Oh, this is a laser lemon. I thought I got a regular yellow, but this will work. Yellow is yellow. I hope. And then, of course, we can't put blue here or here because the primary colors can't by, be by each other. I'm going to put blue up here. Now I'm going to use some plain clear water and my paintbrush and I'm going to uh, brush water here, here, and here and fill those in. I'm going to rinse my brush off in between so I don't mix the colors up because I want this to just be yellow, this just to be red, and this just to be blue. Yeah, that turned out good. Now I'm going to try to mix these colors. And between you and me, I've never actually tried this before, but I think it's going to work. So what I'm going to try to do, so first off, let's start down here. So yellow comes over here and red comes over here. So we'll get orange right here. You can't put blue over here. It's got to be like this. This is how the color wheel helps us um, 
understand how colors mix. So I'm going to do one outline of red. It doesn't matter which one goes on the outside. And then I'm going to do a ring of yellow. Maybe do yellow first because the red's getting on my yellow marker a little bit and I don't like that kind of thing. Red's very strong so I'm going to put extra yellow there. And now I'm going to add water and mix those up. I'm going to do the same thing with yellow and blue here and blue and red here. Let's see how this goes. All right, so I think that worked pretty well. Um, I do think that putting the darker color on the outside worked uh, better on this one than it did on the green. So um, let me just give you a bit of advice. When you're using the yellow, make sure the yellow is on the inside. Like blue should go on the outside, red should go on the outside. It just looks better. And I think the purple, um, I think either one works fine. So um, yeah, I think that worked pretty well. Uh, a good way to get around not everybody having to have paints. So what I want you to do now is to use what you learned about mixing color and to decorate the background and just kind of have fun with it, but your focus is the color wheel. So try not to um, mix up those colors now that we've mixed them. And uh, just fill up the background with some color mixing fun and some shapes and lines and just go nuts with it. Um, I'm going to go ahead and try that now. And that is how you make a watercolor wheel. I would normally hold up my finished example, but it's all wet and it would drip all over me. So anyway, um, have fun playing with markers and mixing uh, the primary colors together. And uh, don't stain your mom's couch with your markers. Clear Connections, friends. All right, let me know if I can do anything to help you. Clear Connections, guys. Don't forget, after your artwork dries, take a picture of it and click that link below this video to upload your artwork. All right, go make some colors.